Hello guys, this is me Hariva Tribe from Live With SEO. Today I'm going to talk about SRS LTID issue. Before we dive into details, I want to give a quick shout out to my colleagues Argy Rizal and Niroz Rao. To be honest, I'm not currently managing any Shopify project myself, but these guys are. The issue surfaced when one of the site Niroz was handling experienced a sudden drop in traffic after an August update. It's an e-commerce website and it was surprising to see how much August website was affected the traffic. Nita shared the issue with us and we all dug deep into it. After working tirelessly for a week, we've been able to craft a custom solution specifically designed for our Shopify site owners and we are finally at peace. Since this issue is gaining attention, there is a lack of online resources out there reliable resource I would say. So we decided to make this video to help you guys out. So if you are seeing other materials online about this, chances are we already discussed with those creators and probably alerted them. So as you may notice, most people are silent on this. That's because they might be working on a different platform websites or they haven't encountered the issue yet or they ignored or oversee that issue. So it primarily affects e-commerce websites, specifically those on Shopify. So let's understand the issue and see the solution everything you need to know about srl tid issue so before i'm going to present you the slide i will quickly go to google and type dog harness so here you will see the sponsored listing and here you will see the popular product okay so if you scroll down here you will see srs ltid showing up in organic search result if we click on this it will open up and there are in the url it is not the like not just the normal url the normal url would open like something like this right so but it is showing in the organic search results uh, the SRS LTID so if we go to ARF and see uh, the issue okay so here it will show up here SRS LTID uh, okay so this is the normal URL so if we see the canonical version let's see so in the canonical URL it's all fine but in the organic listing SRS LTID is showing up so this can be an issue okay so this is an issue for user experience obviously but let's understand what's happening here and get a insight on this okay so what's the issue challenge so after the root domain if there is a question mark followed it by srs ltid equals that means query string okay so it is often common in e-commerce website people pass some parameter if you are you know browsing some product and there is an id given to that product so that we lack on the respective product so similar to that srs ltid is a query string that is from the google okay so uh, in the google merchant center the, this parameter is used uh, so that the google could track the like traffic sales or whatever information they want to grab from the respective url so in here you can see this is the uh, listings right the regular product listing let's just say if i am on the google merchant circle i will upload the product and that those product will you know probably show up they will you know show up the url and the, if you hover over those url you know for the tracking purpose they are using srs ltid so that's okay because we do want to track those urls and see the progress of those urls okay but what's the problem here problem is since the google is automatically generating those srs ltid urls so they are you know they happen to be on the organic search listing which is not exactly good for user experience as well as it might create some duplication uh, on the content because they are on the organic listings obviously even though by setting the canonical url there are multiple versions of urls and uh, lots of uh, if we check through ARF and SEMrush and all all these third-party tools apart from the regular URLs like the dog harness they are picking up the SRS LTID version of that URL which is not good and also uh, what it does is we cannot get the accurate tracking of those URL the number of uh, amount of keywords growth or the traffic okay so this is uh, actually not good for the website so 
we we face that so that's the problem automatically generating and it is creating havoc among seo professional due to potential impact on search engine ranking this happened you know around august okay so google uh, has launched some statement that it is fixed but ultimately since the august update is going on simultaneously we thought it could uh, be fixed but it haven't fixed okay issue still exists there so what's the implication sure an appearance of this parameter has caused the concern and and uh, SEO pre performance and rank tracking is not exactly right. Uh, there is data skewed, so that is not good for SEO. So before we dive into the impacts, let's take a moment and understand what uh, SRLs LTID parameter is and why suddenly it's on the everyone's radar. Okay, so what is it? Like I said, it's a query string. Okay, so it is added by the Google to track the interaction with product listing and organic. So we have already talked about this. What's the purpose? Purpose means Google wants to monitor and improve its shopping services by tracking those user interactions. And how does it work? When someone clicks on the free product listing in the Google search, uh, it will add SRS LTID equals blah, blah, blah. So that's the issue. So I showed you in a live example. So here, this is the whole URL, but here it is showing up SRS LTID. That parameter is called as result ID. So result ID is generated when an impression occurs. If a user click on the same listing again, the same result ID is used, allowing it to be tracked in analytics for deeper insights such as conversion or purchases. So why does it matter? This data of the conversion and interaction matters because we want to make an informed decision and uh, improve our overall website performance, traffic or sales, everything. So if data is skewed, we cannot make those informed decisions. So concern, while it is meant to be a helpful tool for tracking, its presence in URL has caused significant concern. Like I showed, uh, it's okay to be listed in here as a Google Shopping and Google will track those URLs, but it, it is not okay when we see on the regular SERP and it is not also good for the user experience, okay? So that's the concern. Now we know that SRSL TID parameter is and why it exists. Let's explore the main reason why it is causing so much worry in the SEO world. So many website owners have put a significant drop in their search engine rankings where SRS LTID parameter is present. To understand here, like the website may not be losing the traffic, okay? So if data is skewed, we cannot make informed decision. That's one. But we are using like ARF, SEMrush and other third party tools, right? So in that tool, uh, you know, they are picking up SRS LTID URL means we are not getting the right information. So that is overall impacting our you know, overall site performance and it's showing traffic drop and website owners are, you know, in the panic situation. So also because of those urls uh, since exist on the regular sub it is obvious that regular url get a often get ignored and that will maybe act on the overall traffic of the website so that's the issue going on so initially there were fears of penalties and negative seo impact but deeper investigation has revealed that situation might be more nuanced okay this issue uh, is because of google's update on august okay this coincides with the august update and this august update and simultaneous this issue srs ltid issue going on means a website is facing lots of anomalies okay so given these concern so we have to dig deep and see what are the ranking fluctuation happening in here traffic and all those things okay so how to identify those you affected URLs? So simply go to Google and simply type. So this one. So as in URL SRS LTID or in text SRS LTID. Okay. So these are all these URLs overall have even the big website have the similar problem going on. So uh, we need to identify those pages. Okay. So another way to identify those pages is go to Search Console yeah, and see uh, the coverage report and you will see uh, the SRS LTID parameter showing up in Search Console as well. So I don't need to tell like how to browse Search Console. Obviously, everyone knows that if you log into Search Console coverage report, it will show up the number of URL having SRS LTID parameters and lots of other information as well. So you can use tools like SEMrush or uh, ARF to extract the affected URL. Obviously, uh, um, like by doing the normal SERP analysis, I can easily get 
those URLs means we can easily get through third party tools like ARF and SEMrush. So the solution, solutions are step one. So we need to identify those pages either by doing the manual search or going through the third party tools or through search console. We need to extract those URLs. How many are there? You know, so we need to extract all those and put it in a sheet. So it's it's similar like a, I made a video on Japanese keyword hack. We need to extract all those URLs having those Japanese keyword hack. And similar to that, we need to extract all the uh, list of URL with SRS LTID pages. Okay, so step two is we need to no index all those pages with SRS LTID parameters. Why we need to no index? Because we don't want those SRS LTID parameter to get indexed and see in the SERP. So that's the first thing we need to do. Okay, people might ask like no index could be a problem, but yeah, it won't be a problem right now because there are two versions of the URL. One is the regular URL because regular URLs are also opening right. Right? So it's another version that is with SRS LTID parameter. We need to no index with all those. Then what we need to do? We need to request the Google bot to recrawl all those affected pages. Means if we extract the SRS LTID URLs, put it in a sheet, we extracted all those URLs and you know requested google bot to crawl those pages means google knows that these are the tracking urls okay so now these are no index means google won't google won't index those urls and may not so on the shop so we want to remove those from the shop so that's one okay so and last thing is step four means we need to make sure that robot.txt does not block google bot right obviously we need to make sure that google crawls our website and then in in robot.txt file we need to disallow those srs ltid urls how do we disallow user as in disallow uh, followed by question mark and srs ltid asterisk means all so we want to block and uh, disallow so first thing we did is de-index and then uh, made sure that it is blocked on robot text file, text file. So it looks like a simple thing um, uh, for beginner. It could be overwhelming, but the main thing is we need to first de-index so that we won't see those URLs in the SERP because there are two versions of the URLs. Okay, so uh next thing is we need to log into google merchant center if we have a products there we need to disable auto tagging it is because google merchant center there is a tagging feature so auto tagging we need to disable those so that we could prevent the creation of a new srs ltid parameters uh, this is the most important step probably after all this we need to prevent the further creation of SRS LTID parameter because we have already blocked and next thing is we have also blocked on robot.txt file. So this step will mitigate the immediate impact but there are also some long-term strategies we should consider. So how do we prevent those SRS LTID issues? We need to make sure after all these with uh, you know robot.txt file with google merchant center and no indexing we need to make sure that canonical version of the url exists so uh, also google tells that we need to use those canonical url version let's see in here okay so in dog harness example let's see uh, if there is a right canonical or not we need to check it okay so here in okay so in canonical the parameter are not existing so that means canonical is safe so we need to make sure that there is a right canonical we also want to let google know that canonical in the canonical version the respective url is there not the parameter one okay so this is set right these are also we need to regularly monitor if there are some like even with uh, blocking through robot.txt file and uh, through merchant circle disabling the tagging uh, there might be some url that are still existing so we need to regularly monitor those url or if there are new url that exist with srs ltid parameter we obviously want to monitor and block those okay so and ultimately uh what you can do is hire a developer or SU expert like us and you know 
have a solution, you know, legit solution you can rely on us because we have implemented this on multiple websites and it is resulting good. The reason that most people are not reacting to this is be either because they are using other platform website or uh, since the August update is here, uh, they do not want to risk by doing or doing some implementation on those website. But fortunately, after our implementation, uh, the website resulted good and that's why we are focusing on this specific strategy because it worked on our website and there is no traffic loss and sales is there and everything is all set so you can hire us for that so we can easily do it for you so you may want to know what good john miller reply on this is mixed and you can browse and see what john miller says here so what john miller says here is is roughly what's happening so he actually followed up with the team so that means uh, this is an issue going on so and we are added search in search directly with unique id and the, he says that this does not affect the crawling indexing and ranking it is basically for analytics for merchants and he made sure that there is a, a canonical url is set right okay so obviously we said that we need to make sure that canonical url exists on the website uh, with the respective canonical we want to use so it's a mixed reply from john Mueller, not exactly addressing the whole issue but if you are relying on john Mueller reply you can do that but uh, since our website has lost significant traffic and in the SERP this version SRS LTID version is showing up we obviously wanted an immediate fix and that resulted good so sometimes we need to think logically what's happening and that fix can result good okay so that's what we suggest so and for this how can you request us to hire for the fix so here we have a website uh, uh, fix srs ltid and here you can request us and we have some proven results in action we have uh, implemented the solution and that solution resulted good for multiple Shopify website and you can request us directly from here for services consultation and everything we will do it for you okay so link will be on the description uh, I will attach everything on the description so you can easily browse and go from this okay so thank you guys for watching this video hope uh, it helped you and if there is any problem you can just definitely reach out to fix srs ltid thank you